Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going offshore with Eddie and my dad JJ. We're gonna troll around and see what we can catch. All right, guys, I think we found some bait. Finally catching some pokies. It's marking some now if you want to try it, Dad. You got enough? Uh, maybe not enough, but. Hey, you want to do it? The big ones are all You want me to get the net? Scoop net and I'll throw again. Hey, everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. We're out here with Eddie and my dad today. Finally caught bait easily, caught some pogies along the beach, cast net, couple casts, and we were done. It's a beautiful day, we're out here trolling, and uh, let's see what we can catch. The bait was finally easy to get, which was a huge blessing. The fish were hard to find today. We started at a spot, not a whole lot of luck, so we started hitting different spots. Um, if I don't see anything good on my recorder, or anybody catching fish, or any good signs of life, I won't spend too much time there. So we were bouncing around from spot to spot in some artificial wrecks, some natural reefs and ledges. How are you looking? Which way you need me to? Yeah, fish. All right, yeah, no, he's running back. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> Like a banana, you think? That, that forward turn, you know? Yeah. Maybe a big old ocean perch or something, you know? <laughs> big old ocean perch. Out of gear. You need me to bring up that downrigger? Yeah, I probably would. See you. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, wait a minute. What's going on? There's a boat there. Yeah. There's a boat there. Out of gear. Oh, Cuda. Oh, that's a river. My bad. I didn't know he was playing funky with Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. You ready? Watch this. Finally went to another spot and we started catching barracuda. Now this was interesting because the whole year we hadn't caught hardly any barracuda, which is kind of unusual. Normally, you know, barracuda come with the territory, you catch a bunch of kings, you catch a barracuda or two. A lot of times the barracuda will cut your king in half. It's kind of annoying. But today we've caught several barracuda. Some people actually really like eating barracuda. You know, where I'm at, it's not really a big thing. Um, now, smaller barracuda I've actually had, and smaller barracuda are good. They say bigger barracuda start, you know, getting that biomagnification where they build up a lot of toxins, and they're not good to eat. And also it depends on how you prepare them. But uh, a nice small barracuda is actually pretty tasty. Mark a little bit on the bottom. Cool. All right, guys, we're at our second spot. Let's see if we can catch uh, a little better over here. Yeah. I caught one on the downrigger here one time. Oh, uh, yeah. My neighbor, he, the doctor, he had some of his friends that saw him and caught him. Really, 20, 29 pound black tin tuna. Mm -hmm. And uh, the man, he said, if I catch a shellfish, I'll cut your grass off something. 30 minutes later, the down, downrigger popped up, shellfish shot out. And he got to the boat, took pictures, he released it. He said, well, I'll cut it for one month. And he said, I cut it for one time. He never cut it? Yeah, I'm waiting on you to come cut it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how's it looking, Eddie? You need me to work you to the right? Yeah. yeah to the right. Yeah. Hopefully we found the fish we're looking for. What depth was that, Dad, on the downrigger? That was the uh, deep one. 
Keep one. Yeah. Feel more kingfishes or not? Feel like you got some shoulders on that one, don't you? They will see him come up high like a big fat cobia. He's coming up a little bit, looks like. You never have to stay down deep. I'm hoping to be. I'm, I always call it Kirby when I come up high like that. Because you know, it makes me feel better. Here, fish, 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 fish. Come on up here, buddy. Is that your fish call? You got, you got like deer calls and fish calls? I hope it works. <laughs> How, how's the kingfish call different from a uh, wahoo call? Eddie, I always yeah. use uh, flounder decoys. You ever use those? Do what? Flounder decoys. <laughs> flounder yeah. teasers. Going up to the front, guys. It's a good sign we're. Uh, oh. Oh man. Did he just come off? Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. I wish. What's that? What, what is that? Uh, seaweed. Seaweed. Looks, it looks like a shrimp on it. Yeah. How do we get seaweed on the line? Well, that kept us on our feet for a little bit. While we were fishing one spot, it was a nice little ledge, and we trolled over it, and we, we had a fish on it. It was kind of weird. Couldn't really tell what it was. It got off. Trolled through it again, and this time we caught a big red snapper. That's a, that's a good sign when snapper are hitting your trolled baits. Those are things that are pretty cool to catch on, like that 20-pound line and small hooks. It's, it's a really interesting fight. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So <laughs> control over those wrecks, you know, a lot of times kings and, and some of the pelagic fish aren't directly on the wrecks, but if you troll over it, you're more likely to catch like a red snapper. If you got a bait deep enough, you might catch a grouper, um, some other types of snapper, amberjack, fish like that. Right there, there you go. Let's hope so. You got what you need me to move that one or? No, you're right. It's not a big fish. But it is a fish. Yeah. Well, a Spanish or a little king? It's quite a little king. Okay. He's nice. Spanish a little king. No, it's a little king. It was. Yeah. I can see how it's tailing. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's the way back. There we go. There you go. Maybe it might have been a good move, huh? We did finally catch a king, which is good. I wasn't sure that was going to happen, but at least we found one that was chewing. Yeah, just a second. Yeah, yeah. You ready for the. Five minutes. Get him? <laughs> Sorry. Where's he at? About a foot out of reach. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> He's almost uh... there. There we go. We actually put one in the boat. Yeah, put one in the yeah. boat. <laughs> Yay, I caught a kingfish. Thank you, guys. Oh, good job. Good job, guys. We got one. All right, guys, been a little slow so far. I think we got a barracuda on. Second barracuda of the day. Flat tailor, fish on, fish on. Here you go. Another fish. Woods, Jay Jay. That's king fish, I believe. Here. Sounds more like You're a king, right. at least. Hey, uh, hey, what? Is that your line right there, or did something just no, take? Something just hit that one. That's a different one. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm, I'm right here. I get him. See him? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm at the. Tuna. Yeah. Whoa, mine's a tuna too. I got one too. No shortage of cudas, huh? No. I haven't caught this the first one I caught this year. Oh, are you serious? 
I guess the most barracudas we've caught today. We weren't right over the wreck, so. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed another episode of Real Hazardous. Uh, fishing was slower than we thought. We thought we'd get the kingfish, but surprisingly the kudas were uh, putting on a show. And we hadn't caught many kudas at all this season. I don't know if the barracuda moved in, the kingfish moved out. I think they might have been somewhere else, something like that. By the way, the beeping means I think it's time to change my oil. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.